Uh, today, we are going to be doing um, something a little bit different than what I normally do uh, and when I'm, in terms of like the face-to-face -face and all that sort of stuff, because uh, I have with myself here a cat and a HyperX Quadcast. Uh, this is a new microphone that I'm going to be using, hopefully a good one from now on, uh, and I'm really excited about it. I've been watching a whole lot of reviews online, a lot of, uh, I don't know, who, people who act like they're relatively professional streamer, sort of, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, um, they do, like, sound comparisons and talk about their experience with it and all that sort of stuff um, and sound relatively intelligent. So I've been looking at this for a while, and I have been sitting here editing um, a bunch of gaming videos that have either come out or haven't come out yet or whatever, and uh, I am so frustrated with the sound quality of my microphone. Um... The one that you're listening to right now, as a matter of fact, it's it's not good. It's very it, it peaks out um, on the high and the low, um, and and it's just it, it's pretty horrific. So when I'm talking to you relatively normally like this, I probably sound a little bit far away. I am about a foot away from this microphone, and we're gonna do a couple of tests uh, between the two just to kind of compare them. Um, but I wanted to do the unboxing and all of my initial kind of feelings uh, from seeing this. As you can tell, I have not yet broken the seal on it. So I would be talking with the new microphone, which is going to be way better than this one, uh, but I wanted to give you guys my first impressions ever of the Quadcast X. So the packaging, obviously the box is uh, a box and it looks pretty cool. I did not get the black version. I got the white version. Oh uh, boy, what do we got here? Congratulations on joining the HyperX family. Sure, sounds great. Ooh, they got some pretty things. I guess they do keyboards and headphones and mouse, mouse, mice, whatever. I like my Red Dragon mouse keyboard setup. We're going to go ahead and slide this out of here and set it off to the side. And uh, I'm going to open it this way, I think. How the heck? Oh, there we go. That was in there really good. Uh, apparently, I did get the black version. The uh, mic already comes pre-installed in the stand, and it's a pretty beefy stand. It's really, really heavy, um, and it looks it looks pretty good, too. I don't know. I don't really know how to compare stands, you know what I mean? Uh, we also have the power slash input cable, and then our adapter that uh, hopefully will work on my current stand. If not, I'm going to have to get an aftermarket stand, but it's really not that big of a deal. And that's what comes in the box. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put that back down there with the rest of it. Anyways, uh, moving on. This thing looks freaking amazing. It's so much larger than the, uh, the existing one. Sorry for touching you. Uh, and also my voice probably just got like way louder. But as you can see, size comparison, this one is uh, a little bit taller. Uh, the nice thing about this is it has uh, a little input, little dial thingy on the back. Hence uh, quadcast, quad meaning four. Four different uh, recording styles. Now I ended up buying this. I think market it goes for somewhere around 150 bucks, and I got it on sale for like 130, 140, something like that. Um, so nothing super insane. But uh, it looks gorgeous. It looks very, very good. Um, the neat thing about this one, and the main reasons I decided on uh, this over some of the other ones is one, the price, uh, the quality to price kind of value. You know, I don't need to get some, I don't need to get some multi hundred dollar setup um, when I can get, you know, a, a compression microphone that does just as good uh, for someone like me who's a novice gamer. But uh, the other thing is that this one has a mute button on the top, so when you're streaming or something like that, uh, or in this case, you know, if I'm playing with friends or whatever, I can mute myself. With this one, I can't. It's just always on. So when I'm playing games like, I don't know, Lethal Company, uh, if you guys watch my channel, then, uh, 
you'll know that that game has in-game voice and that can set off a lot of the creatures. So if I have things happening around my house, like my 3D printer's printing or something like that, that's continuously broadcasting in the game. And I'd like to be able to just touch of a button, turn my mic off, uh, not have to go through all the computer settings, which is really, really, like, takes a long time. There's also a, an, a gain uh, little dial thing on the bottom here, which is super cool. Uh, so that'll allow me to listen. Well, that's the other thing is that you, you have a microphone jack on the back of the, the mic. So you can listen to yourself while you're talking, while you're recording. Um, and then you can adjust the gain as needed so that you're not blowing out the, the speakers while you're talking. Uh, yeah, this one, once again, we're going to do a couple of different tests, but, uh, this one does not have a gain. It does not have a mute. It does not have anything. It's a piece of crap and it sucks. So I'm really excited to upgrade to something a little bit better. Oh, this one also has RGB, um, kind of around the, the mesh there, as you'll see here in a second, which will match all of the RGB that you can't see because you're looking at me right now. Uh, but if I give you a little bit of a, a view here. You can see the RGB that I have set up uh, with my keyboard and my mouse. Well, technically, all three of my keyboards and my mouse. And then also my mouse pad is RGB, but it's dying. Um, so I have a new one of those coming, too. I like colors. Eventually, I'm going to have, like, colors and stuff on the walls. I don't know. That's all expensive. Uh, anyways, yeah. So let's do a couple of tests with this microphone, uh, like the pop tests and different noise levels and... I'll read a phrase and all that sort of stuff. We'll kind of listen to it. Um, and then we'll do a test with the new one so that you can hear how much better the sound quality is. Um, yeah. Also, I apologize in advance. You've been listening to the original microphone and the sound quality is trash. So now for the better stuff. We're going to go ahead and start out uh, with a little phrase in my normal speaking voice. So the Access Port is the world's best-selling, most flexible, and easiest-to-use ECU upgrade solution for your vehicle. Unlock power hidden within the vehicle by replacing conservative factory settings with more aggressive calibrations. The Access Port is the world's best-selling, most flexible, and easiest-to-use ECU upgrade solution for your vehicle. Unlock power hidden within the vehicle by replacing conservative factory settings for more aggressive calibrations. We're also going to be doing a little bit of a pop test. I'm going to get really close, do a little couple pop, 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 pop. And then uh, the Peter Piper, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. That's really hard to say. And then I do that, that pop test again, really, really close. Well, not really close, but uh, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Um, I'll tap my desk a little bit. Maybe tap on the... The mouse pad. Yeah. Um, then I'm going to tap on my desk a little bit. And then the keyboard mats. Okay. okay. And then I'll do a little bit of keyboard typing. Okay, maybe I'll type. All right. I get really close in a non-whispering voice. Maybe I'll whisper a little bit so that we can hear what that sounds like. And then uh, I'll get really close and I'll talk really quietly and see uh, kind of how that sounds. Maybe I'll whisper to you again, a little little bit more uh, seriousness going on here. And, and then back to normal voice, I'm gonna get a little bit further away, maybe I'm reaching back, maybe I'm stretching, doing something like that, just still talking at you. And then once again, I'm stretching, I'm stretching, I'm going really far back, right? So you can uh, still normal voice, maybe I'm a little tired, I'm just leaning back uh, in my chair. And yeah, so there's that one. And then the last thing is I'm gonna speak over here on the left side of the microphone. I have no idea if that's gonna be coming out on the left side or not. Going back center and then moving towards the right. And now we're talking on the right side of the microphone, going back to center. Now I'm gonna go ahead and lift you out of my little setup here so that I can speak to you from behind. Okay, I'm turning the microphone around and I am talking to you from the back side of the microphone now. And as you can hear, I have no idea if anything changed. Now I'm going to be moving to the left side of the microphone here, and I am in that, like, single directional mode, uh, which I didn't really go too far into, but I'm going to move over to the right side of the microphone now and speak it to you from the right, um, and then I'm going to go back to the front, and we're going to slowly rotate so that I can talk to you from the rear of the microphone. Now I'm talking from the back of the microphone. In the mode that I'm in right now, I don't remember what it's called, cardioid mode, um, and what that does is it, it kind of 
uh, balances, it removes a lot of that background noise or the noise from the rear of the microphone and focuses only on what's coming at it from the front. Um, so when you're doing things like streaming and gaming and whatnot, you don't want really your keyboard sounds or anything like that really kind of going crazy on the screen or on the in the audio for you. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I am using the new Quadcast X, S, S, Quadcast X. Uh, I am using the new Quadcast um, microphone at the moment. And something else that I didn't really talk about is when looking at the stand, and I can show you from the back here, um, there's a really convenient port, like a hole to be able to run the power cord through, which is super cool. Um, I don't know, it's just a random random thought item that uh, HyperX really kind of put in, which is neat. So you don't have bending cords and all that sort of stuff. But something else that we can talk about is, I guess, the other modes. Um, and I'm just looking at the pamphlet here so I can tell you what they are. I do know about them. I just don't remember what they're called. Uh, so you have stereo, obviously. So that's more of that surround sound uh, sort of feel. Um, so with stereo, if I were to do that 360 kind of like talking, um, you'll be able to hear me talking in the left and in the right of your ear. So actually, let's do that real quick. Okay, so here we are in stereo, and I guess this is more for if you're make, making music or something like that, so that if you have like instruments to one side or the other that you can hear it in the opposite ear. But if I go ahead and move to the left side of the microphone, um, you should be hearing me in your left ear, uh, so long as I have it set up correctly, but that's okay. And then we're gonna move across the center and then over to the right so that you can hear me speaking in your right ear, which is uh, super cool, really neat, and I do enjoy that. And I'm back to you from the center. Uh, talking from the back, it just should seem like I'm pretty far away. So now that the microphone is turned away and I'm speaking at you again, um, it should be sounding like I'm coming from behind you, which is also kind of strange. And then I'll turn it back around so that you can uh, hear me like normal. So then the other two modes that we have are omnidirectional. I'm not even going to bother really going through that one, but it's the same input relatively from the front as it is on all the other three sides. Um, what I was seeing in the other reviews of this mic is it's m your, your voice or the sound is more bright or more um, recognizable through the front of the microphone. And it's a little bit duller, a little bit dimmer uh, from the other uh, 270 degrees. So I guess, you know, the main focus of the mic is for streamers and regular gamers. Um, yep. And then you have the bi-directional, which is if you're doing a podcast or something and you have two people and you're using the same mic. And that's instead of, it kind of blocks out the right and the left and focuses only on the front and the back. So that you're sitting there having a conversation with somebody. So here I am back in cardioid mode and I'm gonna go ahead and mess with the gain here. So uh, I am now sitting right in the center. I was a little bit above the center and I'm gonna go ahead and lower the gain while I'm speaking so that you can kind of hear what that sounds like. And I'm just gonna bring it down to the lowest dot. I could go further than that. Um, but I don't really see any need to. And in fact, there's probably a reason why the company uh, limited you on the dots uh, on the size. And I can show you that if you care. But I'm going to go ahead and raise the gain back up. I'm back towards center. And then I'm going to go towards the far uh, high, basically the highest, the biggest dot. Um, and this is what it sounds like on that. And I'm back now down in center. And I'm going to turn the microphone around so that I can show you what that looked like. So that's cool. Um, I will say all of the sound tests and that kind of stuff that I did are on the stand that came with the HyperX microphone. I did not put it on my new stand yet. I don't actually know if it, if it will work. I'll test that later. Um, but I wanted to do a sound check uh, between the cheap stuff I had on Amazon and exactly what came with the Hyper HyperX. I will say that the mount for the HyperX is a lot more sturdy than the mount for uh, the microphone that I originally had as you can see i'm like pushing the bottom and it's not shaking at all which could be a bad thing honestly um but i feel like it's probably a good thing because it'll mean that there's less vibrations and that the springs that are on it are really absorbing the vibrations that are coming off of the mic um which is super cool so the other thing that we have to talk about or don't have to but i'm going to is the uh mute function on the mic itself so i'm going to keep uh saying the words at you and i'm just going to kind of tap the mute button and you'll see way and then it comes back when I do that the nice thing is is that the lights also turn off so that you know if you're muted or if you're unmuted um, yeah 
there is an app that we can download that I'm going to download and it's going to allow you to kind of fine tune those settings. So let's hop into the app and we'll talk about that. So here we are. I've downloaded the uh, HyperX Ingenuity um, app. So I basically went on Google and typed in HyperX Quadcast and the Ingenuity kind of just came up as one of the download options. But this is the interface that you'll be using uh, to kind of modify um, any... Why are you... Whoa. I realized that my gain was really high. Oh, that's super cool that I can just kind of watch that happening. Uh, sorry about that. I was probably just screaming at you. What's really neat is that you can go in here and you can click on your microphone. And when you click on that, when I did the first time, it had a firmware update. So not a big deal. Ooh. I guess these are base presets. Interesting. Uh, that's cool. Well, uh, you can change your mic volume here. Mic monitoring, um, which I probably just turn off for now because I don't have it like plugged in and connected. Uh, the polar pattern, which you can't change here because it gets the dial right. And then whatever that headphone volume is that's leading out to you. And then uh, over to lights, uh, you can change the effects. You can add the effect. Blink, cycle, lightning, wave. Um, uh, ah, ah, oh, that's cool. It just kind of like changes based on how loud you are. Is that just pulse or something? Okay. What about wave? Oh, that's kind of what we were already doing. Cycle? Is that just going to jump between colors? Oh, no. It's just nice and slow. So what's really neat is you can see the graphic here, but it's also showing up um, the colors on the mic too, which is super neat. How about blink? Hate that. And then solid is just red. So we want either wave or cycle. Probably wave. Um, and you can change the color yourself. You can change the speed and the opacity. Ah, so it's like a brightness. Neat. All right, we're going to go ahead and save that. Light sync. Oh, uh, yeah. So that's the other thing is that if you have a bunch of different, um, items through this company that can go through this software, basically you can hook up all the lights to go together, which is super dope. Uh, but I don't have that, so that's fine. So that's pretty much it for this microphone. Uh, it's really cool. It's very pretty, and I think it sounds pretty good. Um, and I'm very excited to share it with you. So this video is a little bit long. There's a lot of me talking, and because I don't know what I'm talking about, uh, that makes it a little bit more difficult to come up with the things to say. But I hope that this makes your uh, viewing of the channel, like watching later, uh, a lot more pleasant because it's not uh, me completely destroying the audio quality with a crap mic. So anyways, I hope you have enjoyed. Uh, if you have any questions, drop them down below and I will do my best to answer them. And yeah, with that, I guess I'll see you next time. And that's on out.